There are many social networks that offer advertising, which means that there are many tracking pixels that marketers can install on their websites. In this video, I will show you how to install TikTok Pixel with Google Tag Manager. To get started, first you must have created a TikTok Ads Manager account. You can do that by going to ads.tiktok.com. But keep in mind that TikTok ads are not supported in all countries. And during the signup, you will see the list of all available countries. Once you have created the account and go to ads.tiktok.com, click on assets and then click events. Here you can select whether you want to track mobile application or web events. In this tutorial, we will be focusing only on web events. So click manage here. And then you will need to create a TikTok pixel. So click create pixel right here. If you haven't done that yet, then you can add a name to this pixel. So I will just enter TikTok pixel and then I will select TikTok pixel right here. Click next. Then you should select manually install pixel code. Don't select this option because it will ask you for permission to get access to your Google Tag Manager container. Then it will add automatically the pixel and it will publish it in the default workspace. So if you already have some changes in your Google Tag Manager workspace, they will go live as well. And in some cases that might be a bit dangerous if those changes are not tested yet properly. So I would suggest choosing this option instead and then click next. The next step will ask you about event tracking because with TikTok Pixel, you can track not only page views, but also events such as purchase. There are two options. One is the built-in event builder, but since we are working with Google Tag Manager and we want to work with a lot of flexibility, we are going to choose custom code. Then click next. This will create a pixel and here is the pixel code. So you will need to copy it and then we will use that in Google Tag Manager. So first of all, let's click here anywhere to copy the pixel. And then let's go to Google Tag Manager. In this tutorial, I presume that you know at least some basics about Google Tag Manager. But if you don't, then check the description of this video where I will post a link to a Google Tag Manager tutorial for beginners. So watch that first and then come back here. When it comes to this container, it is already installed on my demo website. So I will here just go to tags and then click new click tag configuration and then select custom HTML tag. Even though somewhere deep in Google Tag Manager, there is a hidden TikTok pixel template, that one is designed to track events, but it is not designed for this particular, well, we can call this TikTok base pixel code. So to install this particular code, you will still need to use the custom HTML tag. Click right here and then Again, if you haven't done that, you can copy the pixel code and paste it right here. Then click anywhere on the triggering and select all pages. This means that this tracking code will be activated on all pages where Google Tag Manager container is installed. Then we can name this tag. I can name this something like TT pixel and click save. Then we can come back to this events manager page and we can leave, at least for now, all the other settings as they are and click next. Also, very soon in this video, we are going to use this Chrome extension, which is called TikTok Pixel Helper. So if you haven't done that yet, then click this link and install this extension. I have already done that. That is why you see the remove from Chrome. But if you haven't installed it yet, you will see something like add to Chrome. Then in the events manager, click complete setup. Now let's test if our TikTok Pixel implementation works properly. Let's go back to Google Tag Manager and click Preview. A new tab in your browser will open where you will have to enter the URL of the website where you want to test this TikTok Pixel implementation. I have already added the URL of my own demo website, so I will click Connect. I see that my Google Tag Manager Preview mode is connected. It says it right here and right here. And I also see in the summary that TikTok pixel tag has fired. Now let's go to the website and then open the list of your installed Chrome extensions and keep looking for TikTok pixel helper. If TikTok pixel was activated properly, you will see some number right here. In my case, this is one because right now there was one event that was tracked by TikTok pixel and that was the general page view. If you click the extension name right here, you will see page view here and you will see TikTok pixel ID right here, which is the same as it is right here in your TikTok ads manager. 
In TikTok Pixel Helper, I can also click on this page view to expand it and to see some additional information. For example, I can see the page URL where this TikTok Pixel was activated. Ignore these capital letters right here because it looks like this is a glitch in the extension itself. And that's it. Even though TikTok Events Manager has the test events feature, it is not designed to debug incoming page views. It is designed to track other events such as view content or purchase or something else. But since right now we are just installing TikTok Pixel, meaning that we are just tracking regular page views, unfortunately we cannot use this. So the only thing that we can do right now is to wait for up to 24 hours to start seeing the data displayed in the events manager. And once you make sure that the data is displayed correctly there, then you can go to Google Tag Manager and submit those changes, meaning that we will publish these changes and TikTok Pixel will be activated for your website visitors. So you can publish your container by going to GTM and clicking submit, then enter here something like TikTok Pixel installed, and then click publish. From that moment, the data coming from your website visitors will be sent to TikTok. And if you are curious how that data looks later in TikTok Ads Manager, here's that example after 24 hours. So here is the overall chart, but if you want to see more details, you can click on the pixel name. And then you should see the data, although I have to admit that this part is quite buggy because a couple of minutes ago, this chart was actually showing data, including the table. So not sure what is happening now, but refreshing the page helped. And now we can see what kind of events were tracked. And you can also see that data in the table. And last but not least is user consent. Because in this video, when we installed TikTok Pixel, we used a default all pages trigger. So it means that every time a page is loaded, TikTok Pixel will be activated. But what if your business operates in a particular region where you need to get consent from your website visitors before you activate tracking pixels? So for example, if the visitor gives consent, you fire your TikTok Pixel. And if the visitor does not give consent, then you prevent those tags from being activated. In that case, the all pages trigger will not be enough. And then you would need to go with a more advanced setup where you need to configure different triggers. They are called activating triggers and blocking triggers. But that topic is for a completely different video because there's a lot to explain and a lot to show. That's why consent related triggers are out of scope of this video. But if you want to learn how to configure your tags based on user consent, you can check my Google Tag Manager course for beginners. I will post a link to it below the video. So in this course, I have a module where I show how to connect your tags with Google Tag Manager to your cookie consent pop up where a visitor sees the cookie consent, the visitor gives consent, and only then you activate your marketing and analytics tags. So if you want to learn how to do that, then check the description of the video. And that is how you can install TikTok Pixel with Google Tag Manager. The process is pretty simple. Get the pixel code, paste it in the custom HTML tag, and then publish. Also, don't forget to test. If you found this video useful, hit the thumbs up button below the video. That will help me understand what do you like and what should I create in the future. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or Google Analytics 4, then consider subscribing to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.